Welcome back everybody. This is the Brutal Age Partner Guide Part 19. This is War Attacks and Your Partners. We've got a, got a great video today. How to use your partners in war. I'm easy. Let's get right into it. We had a, a really good matchup earlier, so I wanted to show it on the channel right away. It was a, it was one of the best examples that I've seen in a long time of good preparation, using the right heroes to boost up your troops, and everything went well for the defender. A little miscalculation on the attacker. These are both very, very strong players. So with the attacker had just over 40,000, and the defender had just, just at, right at 50,000, but it's T5 versus T4. So as a player with T5, you don't, you're not expecting to lose against T4 for sure. Now let's take a look at the actual numbers because they, they mean a lot. The attacker used just under 14,000 of all three troops and they are all T5. The defender used uh, 50,000 of all one troop, all T4 shaman. So let, let's watch the way this unfolds. Now I'll, I'm going to have to show the actual hero attack that it's the actual attack isn't as relevant but I do uh, want to show everyone the war patterns that we use as well. Because I have a lot of people ask me about war patterns. Here's a here's a great example of of a very good player that knows a lot about war patterns. What he used on his on all of his heroes. So we'll start off with a double blade girl. Has her as the leader. Uh, he's using Smilodon and Wolf. And you're gonna notice one thing is in common with every single one of his heroes: left hand speed on them all, and then right hand attack, helmet attack. So and plus she has a 40% attack bonus, and he has. And he has, and that's only for the blue heroes, and he has two other blue heroes. So his lead, strong lead, all all of his uh, troops are level 40. I know the pictures aren't all level 40, but this guy suck at this. <laughs> ne next one is the blue colonel. She also had left hand speed, and then right hand defense, helmet defense. Use six bull. All six bull on this. Now I've I've looked around, and there are different ways that I've seen people make her. But this is this is a really effective uh, hero. Uh, next is the blue black shaman, and ironically, no cat. Use left hand speed, right hand hit percentage, and on the helmet attack percentage. And so a little bit different look. But now I've mentioned this in other videos. You'll see the more experienced players use the the corsac, where the less experienced players don't. Uh, last troop is the green catfish fighter. All hippo. That's not hippo at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah all hippo. <laughs> uh, left hand speed, then right hand and helmet hit point percentage. And you saw, if you could see that picture, because it's tiny, that's what level 15 looks like. Just massive, massive hit point produ production there. Now, the, the key to this entire attack was the leader skills for, from the, the heroes that he had put in. He's got three of them that boost up the shaman with a total of 190 in, in morale. So I'm going to explain this real quick in case you have no idea what I'm talking about so far. Every single time that, that you are attacking another player or they are attacking you, you will have the opportunity to add your heroes to lead the marches. So you'll have your troops and then you can have up to four heroes to lead the marches. Every hero if you look the the very last ability the one that's all the way on the right every hero can either boost their morale or reduce the enemy's morale and they will all have a, a specific troop that they will boost or reduce so one can boost uh, the shaman one can reduce the shaman one can boost the warrior one can reduce the warrior one can boost the beast rider one can reduce it so all of your troops can either boost your troops morale or reduce the enemy's troops morale in this case the, the defender had uh, had 190 boosted morale for the shaman and then negative 40 reduced for the morale for the warrior now that only that only matters if you win so whatever hero is left at the end is what the actual calculations uh, are taken from so it may all happen really fast you know the, the attacks happen in an instant but what's going on is the very first thing that happens is the the partners will fight each other then based on who wins whatever survivors are left you will take their uh their morale booster and 
you will calculate that to your troops attack I'll give a rundown real quick of what the attacker was using now this is what I was talking about on the right hand side you'll see the morale it's it's underneath the legion heading that means that every single one of the of your partners will contribute to the legion which is the army they'll either boost the morale or reduce the morale of either their army or the enemy's army so what the attacker did was used three three troops that reduced the enemy's morale and one one hero that boosted their own morale and it ended up being that they boosted their own shaman and they reduced 80 of the warrior and 40 of the shaman for the defender and that was just kind of playing it safe they the whole attack was them playing it safe they used an even number of troops to play it safe because they didn't know what the defender was going to use as far as for, for the defense so they used an even number of uh, troops to attack from each of the three categories and then they tried to reduce the defenders morale and that was just another way to try to play it safe uh, you, you know if you think about it they're using t5 troops they have strong heroes so they were thinking that they can attack with a few less troops may possibly and still be able to come out on top if they win the hero battle because the, uh, during the hero battle they are going to be lowering the morale of the enemy uh, troops but now what, what happened was the defender he made the enemy irrelevant he defended with all one troop all shaman and he boosted up the shaman with three of his different heroes so by using all one troop and then boosting up all that same troop with three of his heroes and then he picked the most common uh, for, for the uh, for defense for reducing the enemy's uh, morale he, he picked warrior which is a common uh, troop that everyone uses this wasn't a devastating loss or anything it was it was a fairly minor loss for both players all the troops went to the hospital so there was actually no power losses and resource losses but uh, I think it was a great learning experience for everyone that's new and that's watching the channel this is a very good example of how you load up your heroes to help out your troops win if you load up your heroes right and you boost up your troops morale you can actually win more attacks that way which is really important as you're growing and as you're moving your troops up from t2 to t3 to, t to t4 just a, another layer of something you have to keep in mind at all times as you're upgrading your heroes oh and definitely don't do what i love to do and attack someone without using your heroes at all that's one of my favorite moves <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.